Property by Robert Geary A man should have no thought for property, he said, and drank down his pint. Mirage is found in the desert and elsewhere. Later, in Libya, sand and scrub the sun two weeks to midsummer. He carried all his property over the sand. Socks, knife and spoon, a Dixie, toilet kit, the works of Shakespeare, blanket, ground sheet, great coat, and a water bottle holding no more water. He walked with other scorched men in the dryness of this littoral wasteland, a raised beach without even sea water, with a much damned escarpment unchanged throughout a day's truck bumping or a lifetime of walking without water, confirming our worst fears. Of eternity. Two men only went on whistling, skidding on a beat frequency, tenderness to music's dissonances, and much experience of distress in art was distressed at this time in life. A hot dry wind rose, moving the sand, the sand shifting Hamson, rustling over the land, whistling through hardy, sandy scrub, where sand snails brittle shells on the sand, things in themselves roll forever. Suffusing the sand in the air, the sun burned in darkness. No man now whistled, only the sandy wind. The great coat first, then blanket discarded, and the other property lay absurd on the desert. But he kept his water bottle. In February, in a cold, wet climate, he has permanent damp in his bones for lack of that ground sheet. He has a different notion of the values of things.